Good day. Today we are going to speak about inventors. The theme of the lesson, the problem of inventors. Now, before reading the text, choose at least five most important words to your mind from the box to describe an inventor. Can you add more words? Imagination, money, knowledge in economics, skills, abilities, business-like manner, efficiency, good breeding, education, talent, good health, mental and physical activity, honesty, ambition. Learning objectives. Use appropriate subject-specific vocabulary. Talk about a range of general and curricular topics. Understand specific information and some and familiar words. Now, we are going to read new text. While reading the text, try to understand whole sentence and guess new words. After the reading the text, we'll discuss this text and you'll answer me the following questions. Okay, let's begin. Many of the modern world's most famous discoveries and inventions were not made by scientists, but by amateur inventors. Often these inventors had such unusual ideas that they were laughed at. But people like this working on their own gave us many of the things we use every day. Clarence Birdsey, who invented frozen food, was both a successful inventor and a good businessman, but it took him years to overcome the biggest problem of successful invention, convincing people to try something new and different. Birdsey first tried to freeze fish. After years of experimenting with the process, he started Birdsey Seafoods, but the company soon went bankrupt. Even so, the process worked. People didn't believe that frozen fish could be possible, possibly be good. It took a long time, but people finally accept frozen food by the end of his life. Birdsey, who was a completely self-taught inventor, had hundred patents that he sold for a total of $22 million. Few inventors were as successful as Bursa's. Some, like the original owners of Coca-Cola, didn't realize the potential of their discoveries. The son of the inventor of Coca-Cola sold the receipt for $2.100. Today, the product is worth billions of dollars. In 1853, Carl Gohard invented aspirin, but he didn't know what to do with it. Fifty years after his invention, a German company discovered that it was a painkiller and has since made millions selling it. Edwin Armstrong invented for FM radio, but he spent his whole life trying to protect his invention. Competitors stole his patents and companies cheated him out of money. Finally, he became so frustrated with his failures that he ended his life by jumping out of a window. Most great inventors like Gerhard and Armstrong made a little of nothing from their invention. The first person with a new idea may get attention, but he also gets the problem of an untried idea. In business, it's sometimes better to be second. Okay, the next task is new words. Choose the definition that fits each word or phrase as it uses in the text. Amateur, not professional, not educated, not talented. Overcome, recognize, find the answer to go past. Didn't realize the potential of, forgot about, so didn't understand. And try it, not early, never done before and important. Now read the text and find the questions below. Why did Birdside first company go bankrupt? Who discovered that aspirin is a painkiller? Why did Armstrong heal himself? What is the biggest problem of successful invention? Why do you think many inventors are not good businessmen? The next task is writing. 
write a short story of an invention. And of course, here you see some new words. It is supplement for your professional conversation. Translate this new text and learn by heart and translate your native language. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.